So can a warrant officer become a commissioned officer or regular O grade officer? Let's talk about that and see if it can happen. Hard work, hard work. Hard work, hard work. Hard work, work. There you go. Hard work, work. Everybody doing it right. Hard work, work. Hard work. That's what we say. Hard work, work, work. Earn what pay. Okay, so the question is, can an Warren officer become an O grade officer? The answer is yes. And anybody can. Now, just to flip over to it, it doesn't just happen just like that. Just like my last video when I was telling you guys about this O grade officer who's becoming a warrant officer. But then again, the same thing can happen as a, from a warrant officer going over to an O grade officer. I'm gonna speak more on the signal and cyber side on this one, just makes it more cleaner for me. So anyone could do direct commission. Direct commission was set up for those with special skills, special qualities that they want to pull into the military fast without going through basic training and to be able to pay them up to a certain level. For example, direct commission was mainly set up for doctors, lawyers, and people with those high profession that, that it would be hard to actually get to come into the army because they make so much money. So what a direct commission is, is they sign you up and they appoint you or commission you in as a specific grade. So you might come in as, as a captain or a major. You have a lot of doctors that come in as captains or majors, especially majors. They kind of give them a pay incentive. Granted, their whole career path is totally different. Nine times out of 10, they don't hold command um, and their schools are different, but that's not what we're talking about today. We'll get to a video about that next time. So, can a warrant officer become a commissioned officer? Yes. What do you have to do, just like everyone else, is drop a packet. Put your packet in, in the direct commission board, and see what happens. Now, the thing about becoming a regular commissioned officer for a warrant officer is that you already have your commission and you already have a skill set in that field. But what can tend to happen is they can commission you up to XYZ uh, rank. For example, I'm a W-2. If I switched over, they can make me a captain. Now, are the chances good that they would do that? Probably not, but all in all, my schools aren't equivalent to the regular O grade schools. For example, we both go to basic course. I go to warrant officer basic course. He goes to officer basic course. These two kind of pair up. They're all about the job skill set. Now, where it really splits is that on the O grade side is that they have to do captain's career course. And I believe a captain's career course, that's more in a leadership role more leadership versus me, my next level is warrant officer advanced course, which is a technical route. We go deep into the technical aspect of what we do. Captain's career course takes you into the administrative. So as you see, they don't really parallel. So yes, you can do it, but mind you, would you make more money? Yes, but you have to make a decision. Do you want to come from being technical to being more administrative? Depending on your branch, like cyber's different, signals, eh, a little different, but everywhere else, usually once you become a major or field grade officer, you become staff. But on the warrant side, you can still stay technical. The benefits are, is that you'll get better retirement and you'll get better retirement. <laughs> That's really about it. And you'll move up the ranks. You know, now you're on the O grade path to where you go from Lieutenant, Captain, all the way to General. So that's the difference. Whereas with the warrant officer, your pipeline is pretty straightforward. You're not going past CW5 because there's nothing, nothing beyond that. So I hope this helped everybody out a little bit, give you a little bit more of insight into the warrant world. If 
I as a warrant, warrant wanted to become an O-grade officer, can I do it? Yes, just like anyone else who wants to. I'll drop a packet in, they'll review my packet, my qualifications, and see where I fit in. Everything's usually based on the needs of the Army. If the Army is over strength, you can forget it. You're not getting in. But in those certain fields, if the Army needs, needs bodies, you have a chance. So until the next time, enjoy. Stay dangerous.